What is up internet? I'm here to show you how to play PS2 games online using Xlink Kai. Unlike the original Xbox, PlayStation 2 has three console revisions and the steps to connect to online using uh, Xlink software is a little bit trickier and more steps involved, but this t tutorial will show you how to. First off, if you're using an original PlayStation 2 fat model, as some people call it, I call it a Model 1. On the back, you'll have an expansion bay door. Um, usually, it will have a piece of plastic covering it. You could just take that off, and you'll have um, a slot here um, for the network adapter, which is this right here. This is the official Sony one. Um, with this, this gives you both Ethernet and phone line connection, and this allows you to play online or with a local area network and inside it you can even house a hard drive which is why the PlayStation 2 has all this hollow space inside. To install it all you do is connect it in place and you can take like a nickel or something to just screw it in place. Other options include the PlayStation 2 Slim. Luckily this has the Ethernet line built into the system and some earlier models even have the phone line however this is mostly unused. Um, as you'll see later 70,000 models will remove the phone line and even the 90,000 slim here doesn't have it at all but it still has the ethernet port which is what we need. At this point uh, everything we do applies to all three versions. Um, the only difference is that the original model requires the expansion excuse me the uh, network adapter. Make sure your PlayStation 2 is set up and take your Ethernet cable and plug it into the back of the system where the Ethernet port is. And with the other end, connect it to your PC or Mac computer. This also works with laptops as well. As long as your computer is connected to internet, either hardwire or with Wi-Fi, this method will work. Alright, so I have my memory card and PlayStation 2 turned on and installed. And when you check here, we just have um, just some files. So we have the uh, your system configurations. This is stuff you set, like if you have your console set to widescreen or um, component output, stuff like that, and along with your usual uh, game files. And for this, these are my multiplayer games, like SOCOM and Star Wars Battlefront. Now, when you have your PlayStation 2 set up for network play, you're going to have another file um, that looks just like the icon here for the system configuration but with like a little white thunderbolt underneath it. Um, that will be your network settings. This is something you can save on your memory card and uh, it's not you're not able to copy it to other memory cards so if you want to do it to another system or another memory card you'd have to repeat the process. So I'm going to show you how that works. So back in the day, if you bought your network adapter, it would have included the network adapter startup disk. Um, and this just lets you go through the configuration, connecting online, uh, setting up your network connections. It would either be a DVD or a Blu-ray, depending on which version. This is the uh, version 2.5, but that doesn't matter. Um, however, if you're buying your console secondhand, there's chances that it may not include this, but that's okay. Some games actually include the kind of startup disc process on the disc itself, such as Star Wars Battlefront 2, um, even the first one does that too, and even SOCOM 2. But um, the problem with relying, this, relying on this method is that some games uh, expect you to have the network adapter, um, so they may not have the startup process on the disc like the first SOCOM. The first SOCOM game, um, I wasn't able to do the network configuration because I did not have this and I only had a slim at the time. So playing online was impossible unless I did get either of these games or another game that just had the process. But for this we're going to use like Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people have this game. So here we are with Star Wars Battlefront. So what you want to do is go to multiplayer 
and let's just use internet for example. Now for this, I have my PlayStation 2 connected to my laptop. Laptop is of course connected to my Wi-Fi and it also works hardwired. Um, but you need your PlayStation 2 connected to some type of internet, um, preferably your own home internet. That way you can rely on it if you want to play on X-Link Kai, for example. So, just click on Internet. It's going to give you this little message. It's going to tell you that there is no network configuration. So, you're going to have this. Press Triangle um, to add. Of course, your results may vary depending on what game you use. Alright, so here we are, the network setup. Again, this is included on disc for Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, not all games will include this feature, so either have the network um, startup disc in hand, or just another online game that has this on disc. So you want to go to Add Setting, Memory Card Slot 1, and then press right. Uh, select the network adapter. Um, our user ID and password required, not required. Auto. Auto. Test connection. And it's a success. Um, and then you can name it. So I'm just going to name it. Um, LAN or something, internet. Alright, so I named it internet. You can name it whatever you want. Press right. Scroll down. Press X for OK. And it's going to save onto the memory card. And if you'd like, just for uh, safe measures, you can test connection. Select memory card 1. And there it is, internet. And it's a success. Once again, to do this, make sure your PlayStation 2 is wired to your computer and your computer is connected to the internet, either LAN, excuse me, either with a wired connection or Wi-Fi. And then you can just press circle to exit. and it will return back to the game. Okay, so with your other PS2 turning on, uh, let's just ignore the slim back there. So presumably you want to play online, you have your PlayStation 2 on with the game you want to play. Make sure that's connected to your PC. And also, so it's good to check your metrics to see if your console is connected. So um, you can ignore the Xbox and Nintendo Switch, that's just my idle consoles on like sleep mode connected to Wi-Fi but the top one here PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 2 they are recognized since they're hardwired to the computer so now let's just sign in multiplayer and remember you're not playing online you're playing through LAN x Kai is a tunneling service. It tricks the consoles into thinking they're playing over land, but they're they're technically playing on land, but over the internet. And then select your network configuration. And it really doesn't matter what network configuration you have, uh, because you're not, again, you're not playing online. The computer's doing all that work for you. So press join, and there it is, Slim, which is the name of the server I put for this one. Um, and it will say the ping, uh, the server, if it's dedicated or not. And it will even tell you information like how many players are on, um, all that stuff. And then just connect.
and there you're connected. Player list. So right now it's it's just me, the one console, but also shows your ping, what team you're on. Uh, I believe voice chat is also supported, so that's cool. So I have this PS2 Slim um, to this Ethernet hub and connect to the PC and my PS2 Model 1 connected to the hub also connected. So you can do this. It's actually theoretically possible, especially for games that support dedicated servers, just like Star Wars Battlefront 1, uh, which I can also showcase later in the video, but just putting that out there. So currently we're on the PlayStation 2 Slim and on the title screen go to where you have multiplayer select LAN not internet if it goes to internet it's gonna search for an internet connection and then it's gonna try to connect to like GameSpot or GameSpy servers which have been shut down you wanna go to LAN um, which is what the tunneling service we're using and make sure on your computer so here we are in the game arenas so you wanna Select the game arenas, um, go to PlayStation 2, scroll to the game you want to play. For this, we're using Star Wars Battlefront, and currently there's no players, thus no servers, so we're going to create a server. Create. And let's go back for a sec. So, options. That's fine. Create. Just use best in platforms. And you can choose the max amount of players, for example, all the usual stuff. AI difficulty. Um, and Battlefront is an interesting case where if you're, this game supports uh, dedicated and undedicated servers. So dedicated servers means this console will not be used for play, it will just host the server in real time, which will be much more stable in connection. The AI, I think, will be, perform a little bit better, and it will allow for more players to connect. But uh, for this example, we're just using two consoles, so um, this one, if, it's, if you're playing on non-dedicated, the max you can do is four. But, uh, Let's just go for example, dedicated on, and then you go back to max players, you can increase it up to, I think, 16. Yeah, so that's cool. If you have like a second PlayStation 2 and you want to host a, a game night with other people online, that's totally possible. But, um, uh, you know what, let's, let's just do it. So. Oh yeah, and then password off, and then just launch the game. And just switching to the PS2 Slim right now, so since this is a dedicated server, it just has the game running in real time, um, but you cannot play at all. Um, all I can let you do is just end the server or not, that's it. So that was my tutorial on how to play PlayStation 2 online using Xlink Kai. I hope this tutorial was effective. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comment section. And you know, if this proved to be helpful, I hope I play with any of you guys online. Um, once again, thanks you all for watching, and have a good one.